you are about to listen to is me, Pastor Michael Bowman, as I think out loud about and try to apply the scripture to anything and everything that comes to mind. This usually happens in my car. So jump in and let's talk. True freedom only comes through law. This is an idea that I think is extremely biblical. Think about how God has worked over time. where He has given his law to his people. And the, the spirit of freedom that he gave in the new covenant. This came after uh, a time of law. And that law is not done away with by any means. Uh, Christ has fulfilled the law. There are aspects of the law that were simply types of Christ, but also uh, the, the law that God has revealed, right? the, the Ten Commandments, the, the law that is summed up in love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. That is by no means done away with. And it's still something that Christ would call us to. We're, we're called to obey the law of Christ. Obedience is still required of us. Now, obviously, perfect obedience is never going to happen. And this is uh, why our righteousness does not come from this. But uh, the, the moral law of God is the revelation of the duty that he requires of us as his people. And so the, the law is not gone. It is not bad. And I, I just want to point out that it, the law itself, God's law, is where true freedom is found. Obedience to the law of God is where you will find freedom. The, the Holy Spirit Works in, us, works in us so that we can fulfill God's law. Not perfectly, but we can fulfill it. We, we can obey it. He, he makes it possible for us not to sin and transgress his law. And this is where true freedom is found. When you live a life that honors God, that is obedient to his law, you will find freedom. You'll find freedom from guilt, freedom from shame, uh, but also you'll, you'll find freedom in that you will be able to do more because sin is slavery, because slavery to Christ is true freedom, because he is the one who has made this world and within his law, within his, his created order, living within those bounds is not actually something that will make it more difficult for you. It's not more strenuous. It's actually living in a way where you're actually flowing with creation itself. You're flowing with the way things are supposed to be. Here's a couple of examples of what I'm trying to say. Think about a musician, somebody who wants to play great music. They don't start off by just picking up a guitar, for instance, and just playing and just doing it. And it sounds great and it's awesome. No, they, they can't do anything if they don't know anything about the instrument. If they don't know the law that corresponds to this instrument. If they don't know chords, if they don't know uh, how they're supposed to play things together, different notes, and how they correspond one to another, they're not going to be able to play good music. And if you think about, you know, some of the, the greatest uh, jazz musicians, uh, freeform music, this is not music that is, is just wild and absurd. It's not something where you just play whatever you want. Somebody who plays this way is actually playing in a very defined, clear way pattern. You, you could say they, they play in a way that corresponds to law, the, the law of music. However, to become a, a great jazz musician, for instance, you have to 
know what you're doing. You can't, again, just pick up a guitar and just start playing. You have to, you have to learn so much about the music itself and about the instrument itself and about the different rhythm. And only after you've done that can you actually play with such freedom that you hear in great jazz music. So it comes through constant practice and adherence to a law that you can actually have this incredible range of freedom. Think about this too with your physical body. If you are extremely out of shape and you're extremely overweight, when you have, uh, when you are unhealthy in your physical lifestyle, that hampers what you are able to do with your body, right? You're not able to do a lot of physical activity. You're not able to just decide whatever you want to do. You're not able to lift certain heavy objects. You're not able to go on and on. A anything that you could be hampered from doing when you are in really poor bodily shape. But if you're in a good physical condition, if you are fit, that doesn't change what you're able to do as far as what someone who is overweight or out of shape can do, right? You can still do everything that they could do. However, your ability to do more, your, your agency has increased. Your range of possible options has increased for you because you can hike up a mountain and be just fine, right? You, you can do that. You can run. You can uh, do all kinds of things that you could not have done if you are in poor bodily shape, if you're in a poor condition of health. So when you live according to the law of God, it opens up the possibilities for you. This is not some kind of drudgery that God puts us under where there's just almost nothing that can be done and, and everything is no fun because uh, God has decided that the, the realm of possibilities for us is so small. No. Uh, within obedience to God's law, you can find far greater agency than you could have apart from it. Uh, apart from God's law, you will only find slavery. You will, you will find a limiting of what you are able to do and accomplish. But within God's law, you can find true freedom as the spirit of life works in you. Hey guys, I hope this has been helpful for you. If it has been, go ahead and rate it, review it, or share it with a friend, especially if you're in La Crosse, Wisconsin, or the surrounding areas. That helps me expand the audience and hopefully increase the impact of these ideas. If you have any questions, thoughts, or concerns on anything that I just talked about, you can reach me at Pastor Michael J. Bowman at gmail.com. You can find more content from me, as well as information about the church that I pastor at ccc-pca.org. With that, I hope you can enjoy the many blessings of God today. Until next time.